There we go. Yes. Okay. So thank you for coming tonight to hear Sharon Siebert and Carol Holsgrave present a tour of the newly reorganized AEW California website. Tonight, they'll be focusing on the branch tools section specifically. But first, we're going to hear from Jen Kresbsback about the Branch Activity of the Year Award, and then from Carol Holsgrave about the Leader on Loan Program. So if you have any questions along the way, please put them in the chat, and Marsha will present them during our Q&A at the end of each of these presentations. So let's get Jen here and gotta find you. We have so many people. Where are you? Hi, I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I got you. Okay. There you are. Hi. Hi. Um, I just switched to my AirPods, so can you ever, can everyone hear me okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Okay. So um, Jen is, is a member of our branch development committee and has been in charge of the branch activity of the year awards for several years. So if you've submitted uh, a, a nomination in the past, uh, Jen has been the person running the program. So thank you for joining us tonight, Jen. Um, and if you begin by introducing yourself a little bit and um, we'll start with your presentation and hopefully you'll share with us the first submission we received today. All right, thank you so much. All right, so first let me get my uh, screen shared here. All right, so you should all be able to see that. Okay, yep. perfect. Hi, everybody. So as, uh, as you heard, I am Jen Krebsbach, and I'm the chair of the Branch Activity of the Year Awards, or the Bay Award. Um, I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about who I am. Um, I put the professional picture on there, uh, but I actually really like the fun one better, so I added that one there. Um, I am a PhD student at UC Davis. Um, I study gender equity, and my focus uh, for my research is on the tenure trifecta, specifically um, looking at the different aspects of, of uh, the division of labor between research, teaching, and service um, when uh, individuals apply for tenure and promotion. Um, and my previous research has been looking at, at publication inequity, um, which influences your ability to earn tenure and promotion. Um, and my next interest looks like it's probably going to look at um, the division of labor within the university departments for uh, the service component and the different prestige levels that are assigned to different areas of service. So how did I get here? Um, well, I started on this committee in 2021 because I wanted something easy that wouldn't take up a lot of time. Uh, <laughs> at that time, <laughs> I was just finishing up my master's program at Sac State. I was also co-authoring a book and I knew I was about to be starting my PhD program, which I'm currently in. And I just finished my book as of December 1st. But in my second year in this committee, I was asked to become the chair because I was the only one left on the committee. <laughs> and so ta-da, I'm now the chair. Um, I was uh, new to AAW in general, but and also new to AAW California, and also new to the committee. And so I was really hesitant at first, but I also really like challenges. So I decided to take it on, and I'm really happy that I did. One of the things that I really like about this committee is that we get to talk about all the different branches and, and how each branch has been contributing to the, well, it sounds cliche, but the greater good. And I love being able to hear about all the different successes 
And that's really what the Bay Award is all about. So we get to showcase all of the awesome projects and programs that each individual branch has put on throughout each year. And then it also gives the other branches inspiration for potential programs that they might develop or implement in upcoming years. Um, or maybe the branches project is so perfect that other branches may want to emulate that exact program um, in their area. Um, so I want to go over just as a reminder what the application requires because it does require certain things. And so I wanted to kind of review what that looks like. Um, so let's go over what each uh, program should entail um, in order to be considered for the Bay Award. So um, I'm not one for reading slides. Um, part of being in this PhD program is lecturing and doing labs and things. So I tend to have fairly minimal slides. So feel free to read along, but I'm just gonna kind of um, synopsize here. So for our first one, um, even if the program is amazing, um, but has been done before, it won't be considered if it isn't novel or novel-ish. Um, so we want something that's somewhat unique. Um, two, um, if it doesn't have that wow factor, it might not be enough to win, but don't let that stop you. That isn't the only reason to submit because remember, part of this award is sharing ideas with each other. So keep that in mind. You know, if you're like, oh, I don't know if this is good enough, don't let that stop you. Maybe you still want to apply anyway, because again, at the end, we're still going to post every applicant. And so if you're still struggling, like maybe you're like, I don't know what kind of programs we're going to put on this year, go to the page um, and check out last year's applicants or even a few years back and look at the other applicants because it's a great place to get inspiration. Uh, three, I've seen some absolutely jaw-dropping programs over the years, but they just aren't reproducible. One I remember that I won't single out by naming was expensive, time-consuming, and so original that there is no way another branch could ever recreate it. It was a one-time thing and it really should have been. It was outstanding and the branch outdid themselves. And I'm so happy that we got to see it um, and we got to hear all about it and it was fantastic. Um, and there was another program I remember, it was also amazing, but it was so specific to the political time that it couldn't possibly be recreated without a time machine. Um, again, we're really happy that we got to see those and that we could uh, be able to post those things that other branches could see that these, can happen. So while they're not reproducible, and so there wasn't a way that we could uh, we could award them, you know, with the the Bay Award, they still exist, so that people could go back and look at them and be inspired to keep those kinds of things in mind, so that maybe in the future something similar might happen in our political climate or something amazing might happen in their, you know, uh, in their area where their branch is that might say, oh, you know, I remember that one thing that happened. We can do something somewhat similar. Um, so again, it's, it's, it's part of that inspiration that we can still get from that. Um, and then four, of course, we can't choose a winner that doesn't keep with AAW's mission and image in mind. So we need to make sure we keep those um, at the forefront. Uh, five, we're always looking for programs that understand the importance of including voices, peoples, attitudes, and opinions of those who have been oppressed and silenced for generations, those who have been and continue to be treated without respect and fairness, and those who are excluded from participating or belonging to the larger community. So when we come across those programs, we highlight those. So keep those in mind as well. So if you're sitting there now thinking about a program your branch has done or will be doing soon and wondering what to do next, well, I've got great news for you. All you gotta do is go to the AAW California website, click on branch tools at the top of the page, find branch activity of the year, and you'll be at our page. So um, if you could please post that first link in the chat, if it hasn't been posted yet, that should get you to our page. And there you'll be able to access the application. There's also a sample available so you can see the kinds of questions that we will ask and what information that we need to know from you. That way there are no surprises this year. And so I'd like to know real quick, 
Um, if you can use the raise hand reactions in Zoom, um, if your branch plans to submit an application for one of your programs, just so I can get kind of an idea. How many people are planning on, on applying this year? Can you see everybody? I'm trying to pull up while I'm sharing. I can't see. Oh, there. Okay. Okay, we're starting to see a couple of people raising hands. That's good. All right, well, we have one person that submitted so far, which is great. Um, we had a record number of applications last year. Um, I, I'm not saying that I expect or want uh, 32 applications again this year. That was amazing, uh, but that was also a lot to go through. Um, I'd say usual we get, you know, somewhere in the teens. Um, so hopefully um, after going through this and, and as a reminder for everybody to, to start thinking about the programs that you've had, um, we can get more people to, uh, to go through and apply. We also streamline the application process. I know that in previous years, we've had a lot of questions. So we definitely made the application process a little smoother for you all this year too. Um, so um, I'll leave some time for some questions. And uh, I think there's someone else who's gonna go ahead and moderate that for me. Right, we're going to change our view gallery and there's Marsha. Here's Marsha. Hi. Okay, everybody. Uh, nobody put your questions in the chat for other presentations tonight when people are speaking. It would really help move things along. If you have a question, just drop it in there. But in the meantime, if you have a question right now, uh, you can certainly put your um, hand up. Let me see if I can get the... Hedda. Hedda has a question. Hedda? No, I was hoping that my branch would submit um, the program that we did in, in October. Okay. That's Sorry, awesome. lower hand. I, I, I'm new at this. I will lower <laughs> That's my <okay>. hand. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. We like it that you look like you're eager to share. That's, awesome. <laughs> That's great. I'm very, very much looking forward to your branch's application. Yeah, that's awesome. Is there anyone else that has a question for Jen? I do. Okay. Um, Jen, tell us about the prizes. This is a this is a show. This is a game show. We need prizes. <laughs> So we will have um, a small monetary prize, uh, which um, we're not going to announce the, the exact number um, for our first, second, and third prize, um, for our first, second, and third place. And you'll be announced all over the internet. Um, you'll also be featured um, at the annual meeting. And you'll be able to do a, a small presentation at the annual meeting where many, many people will be able to hear all about your branch and your program um, and hear all about the awesome work that you and your branch have done. Okay. Jen, can you stop sharing your screen for a minute? Yes. That'd be great. Okay. <clears throat> so when we get to the part about... Um, Going through the website, we'll also stop by Leader on Loan, and you can see where there's some previous winners and what their uh, winning contributions were. So thank you very much, Jen. As always, thank you're you. well prepared, and uh, we look forward to everybody's application being submitted. Okay. So... Now we're gonna go on to Carol Holsgrave and she's gonna to talk to us about the Leader on Loan program. And we're gonna spotlight you. There you go and take Jen off. Okay. 
and take Marsha off. There we go. Okay. Oh. You're all alone. <laughs> Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Am I am I unmuted? You're you're unmuted. You're fine. Okay. Oh, excellent, because there was some confusion there on my screen. Um, so leader on loan. Um, we usually refer to this as LOL. That does not mean laugh out loud, uh, just so you know. It does lead you to someone usually on the state board of directors who can offer experience and understanding of a particular branch issue, uh, faltering membership, public policy questions, conflict, governance, and many more. For pretty much any problem you have, we have someone who knows what to do. You just have to ask. What LOL does not do or is um, arrange for AAOW fellows to come to speak to your branch members. That is handled and well by AAOW funds. To, you can see that link at the very top of the AAOW California homepage, right next to our branch tools. So how does this work? There will naturally be forms to complete, but under the new regime, they are few and the process is quick and easy to find. So, Sigrid, are we going to branch tools? Um, we're going to try because somehow or to other, <laughs> somehow or other, I'm not getting to where I need to be. Here yeah. we go. Okay. All right. So you click on branch tools and you get all these lovely boxes. Um, visual is it these days. So then, oops. No. Okay. Okay. All right. So you scroll down to the box that says LOL, Leader on Loan. And then you click on that. And then you get this page, which pretty much has everything that you need. Uh, you'll find the details what Leader on Loan is, who does what, and in what order. Each section under the summary of roles on this page um, has its own button leading you to the form. The forms are request a speaker, reimbursement, and evaluation. And that's it. If you want a copy of this, um, this first page, um, just click on the big blue button and I print, print a copy of the LOL guidelines will appear at just, just like magic. So we're opening, there's the leader on loan request form. So it's it's multi pages. Um, whoops. Can we get through? There we go. Okay. The, things really are much easier than they used to be. Anyway, so as you see, you know, what's your branch? They want to know who you are, what you want, what type of meeting, who's your audience, uh, what do you expect your attendance to be, what's the program topic. And includes other. So if it's not there, put in, you know, type in other and we'll see what we can find. Um, if you have a preferred speaker, indicate there. Date, time, alternate date, time. Um, and most importantly, well, almost most importantly, is, is this going to be an in person meeting or a Zoom meeting? So once you fill this out, and there are several pages. And you're going to, you know, there's there's several pages anyway. So when you get to the end, you click submit, and it goes to me or whoever your leader on loan um, coordinator is at the time. We all have the same web the the same email address. So uh, you should know that your branch is responsible for transportation costs for for your speaker. Uh, it's about, uh, it's uh, actually um, 65.5 cents per mile at the moment, uh, although that's going to change a bit on July 1st. You're responsible for any meals, lunch or dinner, and even an overnight accommodation if that is necessary. Um, a branch member may offer to host the guest, if, if uh, to, uh, the speaker, if, you, if she wants to do that. Zoom meetings are generally, of course, without cost except if the speaker wants the audience to have printed information, then you negotiate that. Zoom meetings, of course, will require technology. Significant 
if your audience is gathered together, less so if they are all at home using their computers. And that's again something that you uh, discuss with the with the speaker. Um, you know, I, everything is ha handled ahead of time, and everything is very clear about who does what from that first page. Okay, so Sigrid, may we go please to the reimbursement form? So this is another easy one. This is a single page. The speaker completes this and sends it to the event coordinator who sends it to the branch treasurer for payment. This does not need to come to your leader on loan coordinator, or, I mean, unless there's a problem, which I, I assume there is not really going to be. So it's just, uh, it's, it's quite self-explanatory. It's one short page, it all works. All the links work. So um, let's go to the last things. Once you have had your, um, once you've had your, your event, and um, then the then the person who the event coordinator then evaluates fills out this evaluation form. So in this form, you note the topic, the audience numbers, and you rank from one to four how the speaker did. Um, then you just click submit at the bottom, and the form will come to me, and you're finished. It's really that simple. Now, organizing the the event actually takes some uh, some thought and some work, but all of that is very clear on that very first page. So uh, I think you will want uh, to print that out and and have that, uh, so you don't have to go online all the time. And see what you're supposed to be doing when. So we're ready to take any questions if there are any. Okay. I'm gonna add Marsha here. Yeah. Hi everybody. So if you have a question, can you just use your reaction hand in that little box at the bottom of your screen? Hmm. I will have to say I had an opportunity to go to the Redlands branch last fall, and I think I probably got more out of it than Redlands did, but um, it's a two-way street. Leader on Loan is really a very important opportunity for branches to hear another perspective about AAUW. So, no questions? I don't see any little yellow hands waving at me. I have a, a question. Um, Tell us about the ones we've already conducted this year, because we've already we're already in business, and we've been yeah, to we, six or seven branches. Uh, we we already are, and and as as uh, Marcia mentioned, she's been out to the Redland branch um, a week ago, two weeks ago almost. Um, I happened to be in Morgan Hill for their um, leader on loan program, and the speaker was Sharon Siebert, who is with us, and I and I just received the evaluation. Form today, thank you, Suman. It was um, and and they and she got Sharon got all fours, which is the highest you can get, of course. But it was you know, but what the branch subject was very clearly laid out, and what the speaker was supposed to do was also very clearly laid out. And I think both of those things helped to make the day be fruitful and um, and not descend into chaos, which is always us. <laughs> I suppose. So I thought that one worked. Well. Uh, we've had several others. Um, you know, the program is going. So yeah. Sorry so if it's okay to interject. I kept trying to to click on that button for some reason. The hands not appearing. Just wanted to give a shout out to Sharon. She was fantastic. We are a big branch, and we're very energetic and passionate and garrulous. And she was amazing. And she. Um, you know, gave us a lot of uh, her experience and uh, guidance and a lot of examples from her personal life, as well as uh, examples from various other branches she was in. And of course, Carol is also a branch member, so it was fantastic having her there too. And so thank you so much for this wonderful program. It was fabulous. And I'm so thank happy you. to be here. Usually we have branch programs in the library on four Tuesdays. So this is my very first one this year. Thank you. <laughs> and we don't have one this, this, this week. We have it next week. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Stephanie Young, you're on mute. 
There so um, our branch has has on the books to do a program on book banning and the curriculum, the restrictions and stuff like that that are happening across the country. And our county librarian was going to lead that program. However, she decided to leave her job. And so now we're kind of like um, rudderless a little bit. We've got a recommendation for the state librarian and I we've been in contact at least with his staff. So I think that might pan out, but is that the kind of thing where we might be able to request ideas about people we might be able to tap to come in and lead or at least participate in that kind of a program? I think it could. Uh, and the people to um, contact for that, I mean, I would put you in touch with the public policy people because mm -hmm. that is one of the yeah. this year. I was going to send you know. a note to ask me first or whatever that thing is to say, yes. who do I contact about this? So, all right, that's good to know. Yeah. Ask me first to Sharon and me generally. So, um, please, for sure. please contact Carol at Leader on Loan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I saw Alice Matthews with her hand up, but she went away. So I guess I'll call on Jenny Hatfield. Yeah, hi. I think I can answer your question about who to call on public policy. Kathy Harper, she's the one that's leading it for our public policy committee. So she would be a great person. And if you want to do it by Zoom, she's on the coast. So, um, you know, she could probably do that depending on the date. So contact her. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. We also have uh, Amy Hong and um, Melissa, I don't know how to say her last name. McKay, yeah. Mosaico. But Kathy is the one on the policy committee that's really leading the whole thing. She's got a special program right. going. Yeah, right. But we do want to keep track of everything that right. we're doing so those requests need to go through carol because we have to yeah. keep track of who's going where and when and then you can request a speaker and if that's the person you want then put that in the form and carol will take that into consideration but um what we're trying not to do is have people randomly call everybody they know trying to get somebody as a speaker we're trying to make it a little bit more organized than that. Right. And I just got something in, in my mailbox today to the public policy people, because I serve on the, the state committee. Mm -hmm. National is doing a webinar on February the 7th on that very issue. Right. So when they, you know, uh, they always record their webinars. If, you know, push comes to shove, you could always show that webinar as your program. Yeah. There were, there were two emails today from National for webinars, and that was one of them. And um, if you're interested, you should sign up. Mm -hmm. um, how are we doing on time, Sigrid? Well, I think it's time to move on to, okay. to Sharon and Carol. So thank you, Carol, very much for talking to us about Leader on Loan. And so I'm going to take the spotlight off of Marsha and put it on. Where are you, dear? I'm beside you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard to find. There you are. Okay. So you know this dynamic duo from um, Ask Us First fame. Uh, and they have been doing an incredible job um, reworking uh, the content of our website. And um, just to tell a little funny story, um, this project started out as two separate projects. So while Carol and Sharon were working on reviewing all the content and where it should go, Don Johnson was working on reviewing all of the webinars and where they should go. And so sooner or later, we collided and now everything is reorganized the way it should be on the website. And I wanted to put a, a shout out to Dawn for her work on it. But then another player came into place and that was Sandy Gabe. And she's the one who developed all the beautiful pictures and the layout and what have you for our lovely, lovely landing page. So if you two are co-hosts and you're in the spotlight. Tell us about the website. 
So I'd like to get to the front page. So I'm going to get, okay. So you're all familiar with what our website looks like because I know you've spent hours looking at it just like Carol and I have done. But I wanna tell you how it's been reorganized and it's important for you to be aware. This very top pay uh, segment used to have drop-down menus. Those have all been removed. And if you'll note, AAUW California Business and all these other designations are for internal. In other words, all of the branches and the leadership, these are all places that you can go to find things that are part of AAUW. These things that are in larger words, these larger letters, are really for external use. So if somebody would like to know a little bit about AAUW and the programs that we offer, this is where they can go to um, find about out about all of our three tech track programs. I'd like to go back up to the original segments here because uh, as Sigrid mentioned, with regard to webinars, they used to be listed as those that came out via whatever year they came out. The communications committee, especially Don Johnson, worked really hard to have this become a very serious search engine with words that you would understand as leaders in your branches. You can put in, for instance, um, how to find the insurance certificate. And you can put that in right there and something will come up talking about the insurance that we offer and all the branches pay for. So um, all of these items are important, but I'd like to primarily concentrate on branch tools. This is where Carol and I spend, along with um, Sigrid, some inordinate amount of time trying to make this much more user-friendly for all of you. So look at what this page looks like now. And every one of these pictures and every one of these words is a hot link. So when Jen was talking about the branch activity of the year, you just click on it and it brings up the application, past winners and other uh, programs that were submitted. It's just incredibly user-friendly. So I'm gonna go back to branch tools and show you some other important items. Ask us first, of course, is the is not the last line of defense. <laughs> Sometimes it's the first line of defense. However, when you're looking for recordings of our peer groups, we're in a peer group right now and we're considered the branch development peer group. So you click on this, it brings up the choices of peer groups. You pick your peer group branch development, and here are where we have archived all of our videos of uh, what we have done and what our recordings are for all of our meetings. Going back to branch tools, this is another important thing. Even though this, this magnifying glass is a really robust search engine, there is a second way that you can find out about webinars. The Don spent a lot of time with the communications committee putting together all the different webinars and information about what they covered, the topics. And then if you wanted to look for a particular subject area, look at how this drop down menu works to find membership or branch development or DEI, whatever you need. You can also find it via the title, all of the webinars, because it seems like we've done a million of them over the last few years, or if there was a particular host that did a webinar that you 
just remember who did it. You can look that way. So there are two ways to organize your search. But I want to spend most of our time going over leadership resources. Membership resources, by the way, was what we covered in previous meetings when Marsha put, down, put out uh, her toolkit. So we're going to go on to leadership resources now and show you all the plethora of information that is available for you on the website. And we started with general information and a glossary. You know, when you have new members who are possibly joining a committee or a branch, uh, becoming a branch leader, and they say, well, I don't know, what's an IBC? You can refer them to this glossary, which then you can find out exactly what an IBC is. This covers probably every one of the keywords that you could think about that you might need to use as a leader in your branch. And this has been updated dramatically so that it covers everything from the Five Star Program to GovTrack, our newest track program, to Lobby Corps, AAUW National just had a webinar today about Lobby Corps, which still goes on in Washington. Uh, the membership payment program, the community hub. Some people wonder what is STEM, what is this camp that we say is a STEM camp? So here's the acronym and what it means. So you can see that there is about five pages worth of information for all of you to be able to use. So after the glossary comes um, one of the things that I really wanted to point out to you. I was in charge of the Leadership Development Committee on the State Board in 2019. And this is a giant toolkit. It's 17 or 19 pages. And look at the things that it covers. So we talk about you know, preventing burnout. Leaders have done things for a million years, all the same stuff, and they how do you keep them from burning out? Or how do we mentor new leaders? This toolkit covers everything from different branch structures to developing leaders and mentoring and what mentors should look for. Um, it's a leadership ladder if you think about this is a community member, a new member of uh, hopefully your AAUW branch, but that's a member of the community. And how do you get them to become a member? And this is the way that has been laid out in this toolkit, which is really viable, but it's, you know, it's depth of information that just covers a huge amount and you can pick out based on what the um, index is, what, what pages you want to read. Going back further to what else is on here. So you can see that these tell you whether it's a document as that toolkit is, or whether it's a PowerPoint. This PowerPoint comes from the webinar developing and sustaining effective leadership. PowerPoints are slides that are easy to go through. Board member rights and responsibilities. If you have new members joining your board, what they need to know about what they are supposed to be doing. Some of these, as you notice, are older date-wise, but we felt that they were important. We did remove a huge number of documents that were on this website and were duplicative or not necessarily uh, viable for current usage. Uh, resolving conflict, as we said, this is something that, you know, there are, oh goodness, I don't know where that went. Let's see. Oh, that's not there. So it's good for us to know that it's not there now. Um, I suppose we'll have to talk to our unbelievable web team. <laughs> Many of you talk about, you know, we have 12 people listed in our bylaws that we have to have elected to our board. 
that's not necessarily true. So here are alternative leadership structures. Some questions to think about. How you can structure your board that's different than you've always done with the idea that it will make it more flexible and maybe not have so much difficulty recruiting new leaders. So you notice that this talks about governance structures and all of these things that are listed under here, all of these items have to do with governance structures. I don't know how many of your branches hold board retreats and do strategic planning, but this is information that you can use. And this is a very simple roadmap to doing this, figuring out what's a good idea. Um, strategic plans are important for branches that want them. And this helps you create a vision for your strategic plan and then develop your action plan. And this terminology is really crucial. All strategic plans should be SMART. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. We at the State Board use the terminology success plan rather than strategic plan. We like that because we think we're very successful. <laughs> so dealing with an aging membership, that's something that our past president, Diane Owens, did a workshop on. And then this is an old branch survey. And this is the most recent one that Marcia Swales did about non-renewing members. So you can see that there's just more information than you probably wanted to know in any one place. <laughs> but it's all there for you to pick up. And it's under leadership resources. But if you have a new treasurer, here's a whole page about branch finance. And this is a separate one on fundraising guidelines. As the Ask Us First person, I got some questions about fundraising guidelines this year. But look at what a beautiful job the treasurer, the uh, CFO of our State Board did on branch financing. So there's all this information on accounting and the documents that need to be filed with various government entities, how to handle dues. This is about insurance. Here's more about fundraising. And then there's that separate fundraising box. So you have to say that we have done a really good job making it attractive and easy for you to um, contemplate finding anything that you need to have. And by the way, Branch Brag is something that you can send to the AAUW California office. And if they think it's worthwhile, they will post it on here. So here Palm Springs has sent something about their grant for Tech Trek. And why not brag about what your branch has done? So here's Long Beach and Los Altos Mountain View. I mean, this is really very cool because we don't know necessarily what branches do around the state. Although I will say that those of us on the state board do get the newsletters from every single branch every month when they are published and we read them so we know what you're doing. Um, branch Marketplace, if you have items that your branch sells, I want to give a shout out to Marsha for designing our membership pin, and those are available through the state office. I'm reading my pa wearing my past president's pin tonight, which the Napa County branch sells as a fundraiser, and these milestone pins are something that Redlands does. So. I don't know, I suppose it would be uh, interesting if any of you had questions about where to find things. The forms and templates, by the way, is really an important part of this website. Here are recruitment flyers, membership recruitment flyers. These are for dues reports that you need to submit additional dues reports. 
here's the AAUW funds template. And I want to point out that we also have a way to track your membership and their participation this way. This is a new member welcoming uh, template. We've made these so that you can then download them and customize them for your branch. We have tried to provide you with really a huge amount of value added for the $20 that everybody pays <laughs> to the state board. And I remember going and doing a board training for a branch whose name will be um, not mentioned. And one of the people said to me, well, gee, I don't know what the state board really does and we don't feel very connected. Well, this was before COVID. I hope that you are feeling much more connected now because we've done about a million webinars and we put together all these templates and we did this for you to make this user-friendly. And we have these peer group meetings. And if you can't come to the peer group meeting, then you can listen to the recording that Sigrid is doing of this meeting. So I don't wanna do any more yakking. I'm happy to take questions. Uh, Marsha, I don't know if you have any questions that anybody has asked about. Um, the only one was from Doreen O'Donovan and she okay. wanted to know the name of the toolkit. I wrote in the response leadership toolkit that maybe you can show her where she finds Leadership that. resources. And it's considered, and it's called the AAUW leadership toolkit. Under membership resources is the membership toolkit that you were nah, introduced yeah, us are. to at the last oh, meeting. Yeah, you're not here. Thanks, it's boring. Well, somebody's somebody's, somebody's their... talking. If you if you well, have you mute, yeah, mute, mute yourself. yourself. Yeah. Here's the membership toolkit that was rolled out in our previous one of our previous meetings. And all you have to do is click on this little uh, um, oblong, oblong thing and you get the membership toolkit in all its glory. And, you know, the web team and Marsha Swales spent a huge amount of time, months and months and months, putting all this together, including those templates for you. Karen, could I say something? Sure. Um, I would like to say that all this work for from so many people will go to naught if the branches don't use it. So play around with it. Uh, just spend a little time and see how easy it, it is. Once you get to something, you can find it easily again. I've um, asked to be on the agenda for one of my branch boards next month, and I'm going to take them through the entire, everything that Sharon just did for you. So Everybody is going to be there and we'll, you know, co-opt a smart TV and just broadcast it so the entire board can watch it at one time. And that's and, not a bad idea for somebody else. You know, maybe in your board retreat of your new board, you can go through this a little bit. Here's the leader on loan program. Here's the DEI program. This is all about branch and IBC governance. I mean, here's more fundraising guidelines. And key dates, this is an important one for you to know. This is the AAUW California calendar. And this talks about when the different deadlines are for government uh, documents that have to be filed. It also tells you when we will be having our annual event so that you shouldn't schedule anything for your branch during the annual event. I have a question from Bev Van Sitters. Yes. Okay, go ahead, Beth. Hey there, I, thank I can't you. hear you. <laughs> I had to remember to unmute. How many years have we been doing this? Yes. Um, <laughs> I want to just Bless say that I don't know who the last person was, but what I've done with our group is I developed <clears throat> and I recorded a trip through the website because they didn't even understand the Glendale website, how to use that. So I've got it done, closed caption and everything, a video connected in members only for our uh, members. And I love what the, the last person said. What a great idea. I can also develop one for those of our members who can't make it, but do the trip around the state website as a YouTube video, again, captioned and so on, and make that available to them. Because so many of our members really, uh, at least the ones 
that I'm dealing. I've got maybe half of the group. They're very tech savvy and the other half are not. So I think it's really helpful to do it in a variety of ways, in person, recorded, whatever. Let me point this out to you, projects and programs. So remember I was asking people to volunteer for Tech Trek. So here we go on the Tech Trek section of this. And here's Tech Trek volunteering. And here's the volunteer application. I'm hoping it's live. I think it, it was supposed to be live this week. <clears throat> and it does take you to Camp Docs. You do have to complete this. This is the online program that we're using for everybody. The uh, camperships, the students who apply, the volunteers, all of it. But it's very self-explanatory. I did it last year as a dorm mom and... Um, you know, there's a lot of help online. The the branch coordinators are uh, already doing this also. So this is helpful for you to know. Um, I, Sharon, can you mm -hmm. show, uh, once again, there is a question, how do I get to the search engine? So if you could just go back up to branch tools. and Right here. It's the little magnifying glass. And there's the search, and you put in whatever you want to search. There is one other thing that I'd like to point out, and this is, you know, people say, how do I reach the CFO or how do I reach the mm -hmm. uh, branch person or the membership person or whatever? This directory is password protected, but it's not terribly uh, difficult to know the password because it's A-A-U-W-C-A. And then this takes you to all of the people who are in um, on, the, on the state committees, all the state committees, all the district contacts, the past presidents, and of course, all of us in leadership. This gives you a picture of all of us in leadership who we are, what we do, and our aliases to be used to send us email. And as you can see, there's a lot of us doing a lot of work at the state level. So are there any other questions? I don't see other questions, but boy, there are sure a lot of kudos. Yes. Uh, for those Thank of you. us who have been uh, involved in AAUW for years, this is so positive, everything on one website instead of volumes of printed material. Uh, thank you. This is a lot of work to put all of this information together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the entire team who updated the state website. Yeah. Uh, this is incredible. Thank you so much. I definitely will be using it. You guys are rock stars. Thank you for your kind words. Um, actually, it's a joy. I love these women working together with them. It's just one of the highlights of my life. So Yes, thank you for the comment that it's much more user-friendly. It took us hours and hours and hours. We <laughs> saved you <laughs> to make it user-friendly. And our webmaster, Sandy Gabe, our astonishing webmaster, who spends hours and hours and hours as an insomniac at 2 o'clock in the morning working <laughs> on these things. There so is a she, question that uh -huh. it says, is it a problem to have just mentioned the password in the recording? Uh, the password for the directory? Just the general password. The general I don't... password for the directory, I think, is, is fine to mention because you're all leaders. Also, you each had to register in order to get a link to be oh. at this meeting. And... Um, there is a waiting room, so no one was allowed in who was not already um, registered for the event. So I think we're pretty secure. We might be doing something a little bit more secure later in the year, but you will all be apprised of the information. Right. Okay. So I hope this has been helpful to all of you. Carol and I are grateful to the web team for getting this done for all of us. And right. Sigrid and all of us, actually, Marsha, everybody. There's one last question here, Marsha, about the branch websites. Do you want to answer that or you want 
Me too. Uh, or... Sure, I can try. Uh, okay. Can you tell us the timeline for updating the branch websites with the new template? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, honest. Um, I know that uh, there has been a lot of from the state trying to make all of the websites look like they're, you know, from the same uh, vantage point. Uh, do you guys uh, know the answer to this? Yeah, a little bit. Um, you probably have noticed if your branch subscribes to the National mm -hmm. Branch Website Support System where you pay I don't know what, $100, $200 a year. dollars a year. $120 a year. Resources. Okay. You probably haven't seen any updates for a long time. They're working on revamping the um, entire template for that. And once they roll that out to all the branches, you will see a much different um, layout and pictures. And of course, you know they're responsible for loading all of the national information so that you don't have to run around looking for what's new at national and dates and things that people need to be aware of. They're responsible for loading it. So if you are not using that for your branch website, I strongly recommend it. But the new version is on hold uh, uh, while they finish up some work. So I'm, I'm thinking within the next two to three months, you should see something um, positive coming out of that. And if for branches that, you know, don't have a webmaster or don't have somebody that's uh, web savvy, spending $120 a year to have you be available online so that somebody can search you is right. absolutely crucial. If you don't have a website, you may as well be not exist. You might right. may as well be um Done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and it's easy, you know, you, lots of people know how to use Facebook. It's easy to mention AUW on your personal Facebook page and send people back to the AUW website for your branch. And then you, you can add whatever you want there, whether it's membership information or a calendar of your events or who to contact in the branch. But the basics are are all done for you by headquarters if that's what you want to do. You know, if you're lucky enough to have somebody who's really good webmaster, then maybe you don't need that. But I, I there is another question, but I I would real quickly like to do a shout out to Linda Slater. I think she's on tonight. I think I saw her name. We revamped the uh, join us page where you know the bigger letters across the the what whatever you call that the banner at the top of the mm -hmm. state website. And bless her heart, Linda Slater spent months, I think, uh, what we tried to do was instead of using the old map of California to find a branch, we now, all you have to do is type in your zip code and it will pull up branches that are near to you. So then if you have a website and if you don't, you need to get one, but the website then about your branch shows up as soon as the person puts in their their zip code and it brings up what's close and you just click on that. So um, I really, I, I thank you, Linda, if you're here, you are one of my favorite people in AAUW right now. Um, <laughs> and the question is, how do you access the national website offer of $120 a year? <clears throat> So you contact Site Resources. Site Resources has had um, a challenge finding someone to be able to revamp the platform, the template that we all use for that $120 fee. Um, they now have somebody that is going to be doing that and making it much more modern. And then all you have to do is whatever your branch wants to post on your website, your newsletter, your events, as Marcia said, all of that, you email site resources. So that will be up and running, uh, we were told, in the next few months. We're not, as Marcia said, we're not um, clear about exactly when National will be rolling that out. Any other? I don't think, 
questions? I don't... 1836. Oh, 24, I see. Mm. So okay. if you... If you have a question, um, raise your hand in the reaction box and we'll try to get to it or comment. Um, is site resources on the national website? I think you just cut, you write site hyphen resources at aauw.org. Which is the national site. It's not the state site. Yeah, we don't, we don't run that. No, that's run by national. Just so you know, I put the uh, web address for branch tools in the in the chat box. So if you, you know, all you have to do is type in AAUW California and it'll bring you to our, our main page. But that is the web address for the branch tools. Okay. If there are no other questions, um, thank you to Carol and Sharon for all of your work and for the lovely tour of our new website and Marsha for um, handling all of the questions. Um, so I want to thank everybody also for attending tonight and being a part of this. Um, as we said earlier, it's recorded, so you will be able to access um, the recording uh, in a couple of days as soon as we're able to post it. So. Our next meeting will be on Tuesday, February 27th, and our topic will be attracting branch leaders. And we're going to have a guest speaker from outside AAUW, and we're going to be talking about how do we get to the hearts and minds of volunteers? How do we turn someone from member to volunteer to leader? So please join us um, next month. Uh, and uh, we want to hear from you with your ideas and success stories around attracting leaders. Um, so please email us at our branch development email site, which is branch-development-com at aauwca.org. God. Jesus, fuck. Okay. And now Thank you know you how much. to get to the directory and get to all of our email addresses. Exactly, exactly. Okay, there's a bunch of thank yous. And thank you all for being with us tonight. And that closes out our meeting. And we will see you next month. Thanks, everyone. Okay.